When you hear the phrase the most stylish members of the royal family, you probably immediately think of the trendy, newest members of the company. Catherine of Wales, Princess of Wales has dazzled since stepping onto the royal stage, but her style has recently taken her look to the next level. Across the pond, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex ushered in a new era of royal dress pants, bare legs and a general casual wardrobe. While the late Queen Elizabeth II was a style icon in her own right, always recognizable in her electronic suits, her black purse is as iconic as she is. However, there is another royal who is a style icon in their very own Princess Anne. Hello and welcome to Royal Insider! If you're here for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss all our royal updates. Princess Royal Anne was the second of the late queens for children and her only daughter. In her youth, she sparkled and had incredible fashion moments, but when her brothers were born and they had their own children, she dramatically fell into the role of heiress. At the time of writing, Anne might be 16th in line to the throne, but she's generally known as the hardest working royal and always looks put together when representing the family. However, there were moments in her youth when the royal princess flouted the rule book and brought new, exciting ensembles to the once dreamed of royal style. While some royal wedding dresses are memorable for their glamour, and Diana Spencer's maxi dress immediately springs to mind, Princess Anne's wedding dress was not only appropriate for the 1970s, but also incredibly timeless. When she and Mark Phillips tied the knot in 1973 and appeared in front of 2,000 guests who flooded Westminster Abbey and, as with many royal weddings, thousands lined the streets to catch a glimpse of the bride in style. Anna's dress for the day was a Tudor gown with a princess silhouette. Its bell sleeves remained one of the signature elements of the dress, and it was all tied together by a seven-foot train. Designed by Maureen Baker, head designer at Susan Smalls, it is made primarily from silk chiffon. Annie also adheres to the something borrowed tradition. Vogue noted that the Queen's princess chose the Queen Mary's fringe tiara for her big day, not only borrowing it from her mother, but following the lovely tradition Queen Elizabeth II wore when she married Prince Philip in 1947, wearing the same headpiece.